Hey, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here. This is the continuation of our Crusader Kings 3 Chronicle where we're trying to reclaim Italia and ultimately an overarching multi-chronicle bid to restore the Roman Empire borders. Uh, we are House Aquila and uh, we're kind of playing what I would call traditionally right now, the not a whole lot of use of the uh, pause button. And that is because we are preparing for a move of our capital to Florence, but uh, we need to get control of the entire duchy, or I want to, before making that move. And so we're fabricating claims right now on the three counties that we do not have, beginning with Siena. Uh, something I found rather interesting is if you open the Aquila dynasty here, and uh, I think if you click again, Oh, here it is. You can uh, so we have 78 live, living members. You can see a snapshot right here. We are currently glorious. Children are born with 800 prestige. Marrying into this dynasty gives 700 prestige. Rulers get a maximum of plus 45 long reign opinion. And uh, we are full on the warfare legacy, and uh, three out of the five for law. We are considered mostly fair, and uh, we have one point in erudition. We have 78 living members with six houses, and this is what I found interesting. It lists all of the cadet branches and when they were formed. So you have the original Aquila house, uh, the house of Aquila. It can raise 13,732 members right now for its army. Has 39 living members and was founded in 867 AD. This is, of course, the founding house, and it is our house. Then you have this cadet branch of Aquila Polybatis, which was formed in 1036 AD, but it currently has zero living members, so that one died out. But I remember seeing the elk and the Aquila emblem. Then you have uh, House Carcharonymus, another cadet branch. Count Timotheus of Seleucia formed it. They can raise almost 4,000 troops. It was formed in 1066 AD and has 11 living members. The cadet branch of Aquila Critea, which has one of the more striking uh, sigils, is uh, dead. There are no living members. It was formed in 1118, so it didn't last very long. Uh, then you have the cassette cadet branch of Isarian. We have some of these members within our own kingdom. Uh, living members are 16, and it was founded in 1119 AD. They can raise about 4,500 troops. And then you have the cadet branch of Angelid. Uh, it is formed by the Duke of Ancona, evidently. This one is the Duke of Spoleto. So Spoleto and Ancona are cadet branches of Aquila. And it has 12 living members. It was formed in 1160 AD, the latest one to be formed. And it can raise 5,300 uh, troops. That's uh, very good for being the newest, newest formed branch. So I thought that was interesting. Gives us a little bit of context for the, this developing story. I really just, I love this game. It's a very relaxing game to fit, play, and it's fun to watch things unfold. Uh, right now, we are building in Salerno and in Camarda and in Cagliari as well as Lucca and Florence none of the others uh, I'm able to build in them but uh, I've already already given I've either already given them away or I'm going to give them away so uh, I don't want to invest in them I'll let the the, the people who will have that land can invest in them. Uh, let's see. We are two on pretty good on stress. We have one issue here that we can attend to. Overt overindulgence. But my despot, your cousin Candida, she just she just won't stop eating fig pie. My knight, Giberto Stambers. Right at this moment, I spot Candida ex exiting the pantry, carrying a pile of fig pie in both of her arms. Is something the matter, my liege, Candida says, averting her eyes. You ate the royal fig pie to the dungeon. We could throw her in dungeon? I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's find out who Candida Aquila is. She's enormous. 
she is our cousin. She's of House Aquila. She's located in Salerno. Uh, she's also our antiquarian. Comfort eater. <laughs> she's a lunatic. By God, woman, pull yourself together. Ah, we're going to gain stress if we do that. I don't want to go with that. Oh, you better pay for that. You're barred from the pantry from now on. Well, that seems like the... The least damaging one is the last one. You're barred from the pantry from now on, so we'll take that. Okay, we're done in here. Uh, our court is looking quite good. We got our boar tusks up there, boar heads. Our displays. I don't see, uh, let's see, court artifacts. I don't think I have anything available. Oh, I might be wrong. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's, uh... Already at max durability, okay. Repair that. Oh, I already had that on display. Let's put that back where it was. And then add, I guess, this. Or is it three total that I have? It is. It's three total that I have. Okay, so we're not really set up. It looks wonky, but oh well. I haven't gained anything else I can put up there. We have our flags up. Okay, and then various things lying around. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. And uh, we'll hit unpause. Three years left. Okay, right now I actually do feel like this would be a good time to put you on pause. I think I'll bring you back whenever uh, it's time for a new construction project, and I'll just kind of keep you abreast of, of how we're changing things there, but uh, uh, we're right at two years left here on the County of Siena. Yeah, okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back. We can uh, renew construction projects now, so... Uh, I find actually that it's a little bit easier just to open this tab and go from there. So we're going to build in Salerno. Uh, we're fives across the board except here. I don't, I think I need crane technology. No. Okay, so we're going to upgrade that uh, bailiff's office. Or we're going to upgrade to a bailiff's office. All right, Camarda can upgrade from what? from training fields to watch posts watch posts act as beacons outlooks and natural gathering spots even when not in times of muster guards are always stationed here okay uh cagliari can upgrade to farms and fields larger farmsteads support larger peasant families when families have space to grow they will produce children that can be put to toil in the fields as is the natural order of things <laughs> i love this game's humor it's funny that's that's pretty funny all right um and the county of luca is almost done i forgot to look at this one is florence done florence is not done yeah so that one's I thought I had everything ready to uh, update, but I did not. Okay, Luca. Luca can improve to hound pens. 
No, excuse me, aviaries. The second most important companion for a hunter is the bird of prey, many of which are kept in the aviaries. We'll upgrade that. Okay, and, uh... I think we'll just continue to let it play, maybe at speed four, as we wait for Florence to come due, and we can re-up its uh, construction project. The latest work of my vassal, Countess Agnes, has become all the rage at court of late. The piece deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Agnes has publicly dedicated it to me. When heritage takes shape, the mightiest men must leave this earth, no matter what realms they have given birth. Tis rare enough for men to admit that their deeds leave those left after split. So far I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. It seems like she's saying that everything that you build for an enduring legacy just departs with you. Well, seeing as how the Book of Ecclesiastes basically tells you that, I must say that's not wrong. Um, I don't know quite how I feel about this, or Agnes, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Let's go with that one. Wife manipulates subject. <laughs> okay. War declared on leash. Ah, and we have swayed Valerian II as far as we can, so we'll bring up our vassals list here. I think first it's important to look if we have any factions against us. We do not. So, um, how about this person sitting at 52, maybe? Just make sure that there's nobody in the negatives. I didn't see any red. Duke uh, Luigi of Sicily. 91% chance. There we go. Uh, unpause it. How much closer are we? We're in 1189. Remember that 1191 is when we can change our law. And we have been given another girl. Look, they're, they're getting multiple traits. Our children are inheriting multiple traits routinely. That's outstanding. Educate child. Not us. It will instead be Flasilla. Send proposal. How many kids do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have the one boy, so we better hope that nothing happens to him. Do you have any kids yet? Oh, you do. So that succession is actually pretty secure. Because even if he were to pass away, it would go to his son, Valens, here. So this will be Valens the fourth. We're starting to get a tradition of the Valens name being used. I like that the uh, the coding of the Count of Two app understands to do that for you with people that like you don't have control over to keep that name. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take the stress loss. All right, what are we looking at here? 11 months until Florence is finished. I'm looking at this area, knowing that I'm going to have to take this eventually and wondering how that's going to what kind of things I'm going to have to do to make that happen. Okay, we discovered a fascination. Land grants. And we can select a new fascination. One of our kids has been invited to a party. Um, we open up Roman and go to Innovations. We just learned this one. Fabricate claim on county councilor task speed plus 50%. Cassis Belli prestige cost negative 
Land is the most valuable reward we can bestow upon our subjects, but there is only so much that we directly own. However, if we were to grant them permission to start farming that unworked land over there, who would object? Even if conflict does result, we will clearly be in the right when we defend our subjects. So, um, what did that do for our... Uh, down to seven months. Okay, so I'm thinking go with high centralization. What's this? Acculturation of Sicily? Can recruit Lucer and Archer as men at arms. Different culture opinion. Development growth. Those are all good. Sicily is an area where numerous cultures have stayed harmonized, harmonized, and blossomed in cultural and artistic ways since a very long time ago. Finally, our culture has arrived in Sicily, and if we accept the customs and art of Sicily, which has been passed by many cultures, we will thrive even more. I'm trying to find out if that alters us from being purely Roman, because I'm trying to be monolithic in that. Uh, all I'm seeing are pluses here. Lucerne Archer. Different culture opinion plus five. Uh, yeah. This, this is actually really interesting. Look at all these things that you can do. Uh, but I don't think it's right for this playthrough. So I'm going to avoid that, actually, unless it just kind of happens on its own. But I'll go after these up here, and then we'll be moving on to late medieval, I guess. Era is not available until 1200 AD. All right. Good to know. All right, where are we at on Florence? seven months oh my daughter Serena got wounded at that party that she went to I think this is the one that got invited to the party yeah Serena has returned from meeting peers and she got beat up pretty bad severely injured that's a severe health penalty oh my gosh uh, she's seven. So hopefully youth will pull through here. That, that's a serious accident that happened. To the false Valens, it has come to my attention that a lawless fugitive, Bona, has been staying in your court. Hand them over to meet my justice, and I will remember your cooperation for years to come. Who in the world are you? And you, you don't start a conversation out like that and expect a good result. You have 3,300 troops. Shut up. Go away. I would not have cared. I don't know this person. I, I would have handed her over. Except that this dude was a jerk about things. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I don't think I told you this. The people that, the the dude that made uh, the Crusader Blade mod that we're using in this playthrough, he's working on another one that uses deep learning machine intelligence that will do like live dialogue with you throughout your game. And as you interact with, uh, with those characters more and more, you, real relationships what looks like real relationships forms uh, it's incredible you got to go to his site just google uh, crusader blade and and he has a link that tells you about hey, there's there's a link to a youtube video that it's like a trailer and it gives you it, it just gives you examples it shows you in-game examples of how the coding works and stuff and the results that you see in events like this I don't know when that might come available. That's uh, sure, certainly sounds like an ambitious project, but that's 
That blows my mind, man. That that's awesome. All right, let's open available perks. Go for professional workforce. Oh, the Byzantine Empire is now under the High Crown Authority law. I think we just finished up in Firenze. Well, we're five days out. Uh, we will take this claim on Siena. Camps constructed in Camarda. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, Florence... We can actually, oh, we don't have cranes, yeah. Quartermaster's offices. See, what kind of options do we have here? We have farms and fields. This is all normal stuff. Okay, so it has everything up that I would want. I would want this to be a money maker. I might change, no, barracks is what I would take. No, 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 wait. I would go farms and fields. Well, it depends. What kind of terrain do we have here? Farmlands. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab levying grounds and replace that with farms and fields. Okay, and then I mentioned that Camarda was ready for a building. Uh, I don't think I can scale up anymore. I was wrong. We can move to outer baileys. More walls mean more baileys, and by extension, more safe storage for supplies. With baileys this many, we can even store an entire stable's worth of nightly mounts within the walls. An excellent thing should we run out of pickled boar's heads. Okay, so that's getting built. We have several other... Oh, before I do anything, council... Uh, fabricate claim on... Orbitello. That'll take him three years. So, I uh, kind of want to... Do a temp save to make sure that I'm understanding how this works. I've done it a few times now, so I think I do. I just, I'm not, I, I, I just want to make sure, that's, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm getting confident with the fact that I know what I'm doing here. So it takes several tries and then, uh, we, so revoke title. Wait, wait, wait. There was an exclamation mark next to that. May incur tyranny unless you have a cause for revocation. Okay, revoke title. There's a 49% chance. Do I have a hook? No. He could rise up in rebellion. Uh, and he is allied with the Duke of Ancona. Hmm. There could be a ripple effect that happens here. Out of curiosity, if I sent you a gift and effectively paid for your title, 74% chance that he'll accept. Ah, it didn't work. All right, rally the troops. And it doesn't look like anybody came to his aid. It appears he's on his own, at least for right now. Oh, he's letting me know that he found my patriarch working to fabricate a spurious claim on his county. 
This is the Duke of Capua, so he might... He might join. Faction created against you. Ah, peasant rabble. Okay. How are we doing on control? 21 months left. Okay. We are uh, marching north. My prisoner Flora died, and so did Boncante. I don't see any need to take this into Banner Lord. The Yawning Grave. Today I met a lesser nobleman who lives in a town nearby. He's a serious fellow, and our conversation drifts to the topic of our childhoods. Okay. Wait, no one in town shares his name? Maybe it was a prank. Yeah, let's just go with that. Enemy combatants were captured. We're at plus 50% war score. Construction projects are coming due. We got eight months left on this siege. Hey, uh, our steward finished promoting culture in Palermo. So now... We will move on to Castro Giovanni. And that'll take him 10 years. Oh, uh. Control operation is complete. Okay, so now you can work on Apulia. That'll take him how long? 16 months. Wait, wait, wait. Task finished. Well, it says that he finished it. I think that was just kind of a... a cycling of... some, some programming switching happened there. The triggers were met or something. But he's got nine months left. Eight months now. All right, we're almost done here. And that is complete. We will enforce the demands and we now have the County of Siena under our control. Well, no, we do not have that yet. Now we will revoke the title. Okay. Tell our troops to return to Salerno. Uh, Siena is ours now. Okay, good. We're fabricating on Orbitello currently. Remember, Orvieto is going to be the tough one because the Duke of Spoleto owns that directly. And it's 1191. Are we able to do this yet? 9 December 1191. Let's get more construction projects going. We're really moving up here. Pastoral lands moving to livestock pens. The livestock pens are sturdy enough to keep larger animals contained and secure. Luca. Everything's at stage 3. We can move to farms and fields. I just gained Sierra. I don't know why that's not up here. Siena. Uh, what do we got here in Siena? This, what type? It's planes. 
What I want to do here, though, is that I'm using Florence to be the money maker. I would actually prefer these other counties to be military focused. But let me let me see how we're set up here. Plains. Plains. And hills. Okay. This is established the way I would want. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Something I need to understand. All holdings in this duchy. Okay, so this is affecting the entire duchy. The entire duchy. This has a port. This one should, it's on planes and it has a port. This should definitely be a money maker. This one should definitely be dedicated to soldiers. So the question is, what do I do with the other two? Well, we have open slots also, so we'll have additional castles here eventually. Um, this is actually... We are infantry focused, so we want barracks. So this looks like it could be a good mix. Like, what else would I put here? Hunting grounds or military camps. Military camps affects levies and archers. Hunting grounds affects light cav and archers. We use heavy cav. So this is actually set up how I would want it to be. Let's go ahead and upgrade to farms and fields. Orvieto, I don't want... These two I don't want to touch. Okay, let's get our troops home and disband. Why is... Oh, th this is old. Uh, Despotisa Elvira has approached me with a complaint. Some locals are constructing some new buildings near her house. However, the noise they make is loud and annoying. The construction is technically not on Despotisa's Elvira's uh, property, so she can't do anything about it, but perhaps I can. Well... Construction has to happen. I will discuss with the locals about how they can reduce the noise. Com compromised on construction noise issue. The locals aren't breaking any laws so they can continue. Perhaps I can convince Elvira to put up with it. N there's a 68% chance. I'm going to try that. And we did. We convinced her. Okay. That was actually a pretty good... Pretty good input there. Because being in... Having served in the Air Force, I've... There are communities that complain about plane noise. You know, there's... The homeowners have a right also, so it's sort of like, okay, how do we judge this, you know? So, um, let's disband army. Okay, and then if we look at our council, we've got three months left here, nine years left here, two years left here. So that's where we're at. Let's hit save. Things are moving along swimmingly. It's the 5th of July, 1191 AD. So in the next episode, we're going to try and increase our crown authority. How are we sitting with our vassals? Uh, factions, there's, this is a peasant rabble.
So that's not anything to be real concerned about. We can put that down pretty easily. But our vassals, what's the temperature for our vassals? We're doing pretty good. Everything is in the green. Let's uh, paying closer attention to our dukes. Let's begin swaying. Well, who who is this? Duke Ricardo. I'll have to try and remember that. Of Benevento. The Duke of Benevento. Whenever we come back in the next episode. And we'll try to get all of our dukes up to 100 opinion. In the next episode, we'll continue construction projects. We're working on getting a claim on Orbitello so we can seize that. Um... Once we have this entire duchy under our direct control, then uh, we will move our capital to Florence, and we will control Florence and the Duchy of Salerno. Let's take a look at what Sicily looks like. It's, it looks the same as it did when we began, you know, so we're really, we're just stabilizing the realm. We're making 67 point, I mean, call it 68 ducats a month. That's pretty incredible. And, uh... This is what the world looks like. I don't see any substantial differences from the last time we looked at this at the end of last episode. Denmark looks different. Denmark seems to be in a civil war. All right. And France has what would be modern day Denmark, ironically enough. Um, interesting. The Danes have had this area off and on for a few hundred years. They just can't ever seem to stabilize the realm and get it under control. It just always seems to fall apart. So maybe they're very, very independent up there and they have a hard time holding a coalition. But anyway, I am Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.